country music. Oh, 2018. Okay, so okay. I'm six years behind. Yeah. On Up Down. Uh, Rads of Chaz becoming a member for 27 months. Says, great show on can uh, Saturday. You're welcome for the K-word chant. I knew it was a distract from the N-word chant. I also started. <laughs> I, no, I am going to say this. No, I, no, 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 no. I'm going to say this. Guys, enough with that shit. Wow. Really. It's not, I'm not cool with the N-word chants and shit. I, I said that Saturday night. I go, guys, cut it out with that shit. See, what you guys, it, I'll tell you why. Hold on, Matt. Yeah. I'll tell you why, guys. It makes us look like retards. It really, it makes us look lowbrow and retarded. And so the N-word chants and the K-word chants, like, it's not, you don't see me doing that shit. Don't, don't, you know, especially on my show. Don't start the N-word and K-word chants on my show. Throw your own show and then start those chants. When I was telling you on stage Saturday that yeah. I wanted you to cut that shit out, I wasn't kidding. Well, see, they didn't believe you because you were a shit face hammered by the time you hit the stage. Right. Me being hammered by the time I hit the stage didn't help my authority. No, no, it did not. So, you know, what you need to do is what you're starting to do. You need to condition over time to work away from that. There is this weird thing where, like, because of the kind of show I do. Yeah. The audience thinks that I'll like certain shit. And I've never given the idea that I like that kind of shit. Can, well, can I? What what they do is they go, "Oh, Aaron likes edgy humor." Yeah, but I don't like retarded, like easy, simple edgy humor. It's got to. There's got to be a rhyme or a reason. Like just right. It because we do have black fans, we do have Jewish fans, and you are the performer on stage, though, and yeah. your your crowd does have because of the way your show has been built. Your crowd interacts with you when you're on stage. Yeah. They are not performers. They don't quite understand all of these things. Yeah. So cool it with that shit. I mean, whatever. I mean, you I'll did go it. up there. I'll laugh at it if it happens. You but did I'm it not Saturday. Start it. You did it Saturday. We did what we could. But yeah, Raz, never again. Starting chants like that. Um, it's just, I'm not like offended by it. I'm like, oh my God. It's just try hard. It's just, I get so cringed out. When people like start like an N word chant, like, oh, look, we're using the N word. All right. Cause like, I can appreciate it being used comedically uh -huh. when it's strategic and it's put in, in, the, in there and you're like, whoa, that really, that was a shocking like way to use that word to make that hit. We're just yelling it over and over. You just kind of sound like a retarded drunk more than anything else. And plus, now as well, the I mean, performer on stage, now I have to recover from that. They did all start drinking at two. I know. That's why I say we might just not <laughs> sound do, like retarded we, drunks. We might they not. are retarded. It's 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 nine o'clock at night. They've been drinking since two. They're retarded drunks. We might not do a comedy show next year, and we might just let everybody come and party, and like, we'll like MC some shit and like do that. But like a stand up comedy show, making a bunch of drunks sit tight and be respectful for ninety <laughs> minutes is not going to happen. You know, and if yeah. you do have a comedy show at eight at night. In fact, we talked about it this year, too. We're like, maybe we shouldn't do the comedy show that late, you know, but it was too late to change it. But it's like, then you go up there and you're almost setting yourself up for them to do shit like that. Yeah. So what do you do? Uh, Raz of Chaz with five bucks says, sorry, I won't do it next year. I figured it would be fine because of what Gino said last year. Yeah, Gino says it once or twice in his act. He doesn't yell it and scream it. You also got to think about this. Like Stoney's is a bar. Mm -hmm. And sometimes the doors are open mm -hmm. and all of being downtown can hear what you guys are screaming. And I don't think Chino Cheetos needs that smoke. You know what I mean? So, and you're saying, oh, it's because of what Gino said last year. Right. Gino, one of the performers. Mm -hmm. Let the performers handle the edgy shit. You guys just be drunk and have fun. Taking care of Triple N rights. You getting mad makes it funnier. Yet, believe me, this is the curse I've had for 10 years. <laughs> I built this audience, and now I have to babysit it. And then when I tell it, hey, hey, get off the windowsill. <laughs> they get back up on the windowsill. They're just going to have to fall out of the window like Eric Clapton's kid. Then they'll learn. I got to lose one. <laughs> I got to have one curb stomped uh, by three black dudes. Same. Yeah. I had no business being on a stage <laughs> on Saturday night. Oh, no, you had all the... I mean, it was your event. You were supposed to be uh, there. I mean, from a professional... We were all entertained. <laughs> from a professional... Perf oh, no, the laughs were there. Oh, yeah. But from a professional performance standpoint, mm. uh -huh. I had no business being on a stage. Can we agree uh, on that? What? I mean, you get a, you did a decent job fooling some people. Well, I mean, it's not some of them are <laughs> stupid, but it but was. Yeah, no, I get what you're saying. So, like, yeah, Saturday. Then 
Uh, we do karaoke and beer pong yeah. after that. Uh huh. I got my Post Malone songs in. Yep. We did John Deere Green. Yes. Uh, your chick not yelled at me, but told me basically <laughs> like I was cut off from karaoke. <laughs> Like, I got cut off from my favorite thing. The whole reason I was even at my own I thought my posty songs were good. I thought I did a good job with my posty songs. My Post Malone songs. I mean, I wasn't going, oh, my God. So, like, the posties were good. Yeah. I was trying to drive people nuts. Yeah. I'm trying to make it as gay as possible. Mm -hmm. But then I did One Margarita by Luke Bryan. And she came came up to me and said, you should probably take these the rest of the night. Yeah, I got... I didn't get cut off from karaoke, but I got shamed to the point where I didn't want to do it anymore. Well, I don't think she meant it to shame you, sir. I felt shame. So then I just played beer pong and But isn't walked shame around. a good thing sometimes? It is. I'm not <laughs> I'm, and I'm not saying that like I don't have any video of uh-huh. me doing karaoke. So yeah. I don't know if it was bad or not. Uh-huh. Or if I was being overjudged. But what I do know uh-huh. is that that did effectively <laughs> put an end to my karaoke that night. Except the fat one that was there for Melton. <laughs> It's this stupid, terrible uh, video taking. I don't like that those two didn't have any falls. Like, don't be chicken shits. Like, just come up and be like, yeah, we're like this. We'll bring you up on stage. We'll make a fool of you. We'll have mm-hmm. some fun. We're not like... No, your- the way they had their phone, like, you could tell from the video, like, they were hiding that shit. Yeah, they were chicken shits. Yeah. It's like, come on. Yeah. We're not shy. No. Like, we're not like your boys. We're not, like, clandestine no. and weird and taking everything too seriously. We're like... Hey, those guys are yelling the N-word. Hold your camera up a little higher and get a better vantage point, <laughs> you f- dummy, you f- loser. Your, be- your best thing you've got to do socially on a Saturday night is come watch other people have fun. <laughs> Imagine that. You're like, you know what I'm going to do on my Saturday night? I'm going to go watch 175 people have a killer time. Right. And then I'm going to go, yeah. And I'm going to go be mad and secretive. You can whip <laughs> your camera out like a man. I mean, would I have grabbed it from you, deleted your video, and then taunted you with your own phone? Yes, but that would have been funny. And then would I have had someone film that and then make fun of you as you and your fat retard boyfriend or girlfriend? I couldn't tell what gender either of them were. But as you tried to, like, jump and you look like Bowser trying to hop and get your phone, yes, it would have been really, really funny. At which point I would have called her a fat dancing whore. Oh, we would have yelled (laughs) suey the whole deal. Yeah, I was like, just why, why didn't they make themselves known? Like, why wouldn't she right. just, hey, what's going on? We're not going to beat you up. Like, we're not going to, like, grab you by the scruff of the neck and throw you out. Especially if you're a Melton fan. You probably have terribly low self-esteem, awful social skills, crippling autism, and you're probably fat and ugly. So we would probably be very nice to you because you're a sensitive soul. I would have bought him a drink on the Steel Toe Tab. Yeah. <laughs> He wasn't Unless, supposed you know to be. What? You know what? Here's the other Somebody thing. Somebody was on the tab that wasn't supposed to be, and that was the guy they were asking me about specifically. Okay. Like, he's been saying he's on Steel Toe. I'm like, he's not. Here's my problem. Yeah. I was pretty drunk. Yeah. So I don't know if I said something at some point. How early in the night would you have been drunk enough to put a rando on your tab? <sighs> Nine? Nine, ten? Around there. I swear it was before the show the first oh, time. Oh, okay. I heard it. If it was before the show, yeah, then he's a lying piece of shit and him. Mm-hmm. But uh, congratulations, bud. You got some free drinks. Holy shit! You and I were there from the start. Yeah, to the. I couldn't hold a thought in my head long enough to tell a joke or anything else. <laughs> there was some guy who had a bit planned. I was supposed to bring him up. Never yeah, did. Uh-huh. He had a good bit planned. I know. I brought funny. up something about it too. He's like, no, no, that that bit's happening. Like, don't worry about. It. Don't worry. Like, okay. Yeah. And then I'm like, that that, that bit never happened. <laughs> For beer pong and karaoke, and then outside they were hanging out some more, and then out in the smoking area. I don't know. I remember being busy nonstop with karaoke. Yeah. We were, I mean, we were till 1 o'clock. Dude, when I left, I wasn't the last one there. There's this weird thing, and I feel bad for the people who do this, but they, like, don't like us. And it made them upset that, like, it went well and we had a good time. And I'm just like, guys, we told you it was going to go well and that we were all going to have a good time. Like... You probably should have just ignored the whole thing if it was going to upset you. Right. I, I don't understand the idea of watching a lot of people have fun and then getting mad. All right. No, that was, um, no, the, the big W was how well the event went, how everything went, how you and Grinch Girl ran a great show. This, I will admit, I shouldn't mm-hmm. admit this. I should let this go because <laughs> it's a bad, it's an ugly part of me. Okay. But there is a second part of me, the second big W, which is all the people who wanted, I don't know if they wanted the roof to cave in and all of us to die. <laughs> I don't know. Like, we warned them in advance, guys. This is going to trigger the... Uh, McBuster says, Keekums blocked me right away, and I do not spam. 
The Melrose Pyrotechnics drop the other night triggered her mod three times. She's having a tough time, man, and she looks rougher and rougher every day. I think getting too involved in this internet drama shit is like literally aging her. Weird. It's, it's too almost bad. Almost like quit taking it so fucking oh. serious. And the weirdest part is she didn't need to. No, she never had to do any of this. No, uh, it, it's the it's the weirdest damn thing. Thank you very much. McBuster says Chrissy is nasty too. Uh, check out Kino Casino's short of Chrissy's fantasy of sex with a sixteen-year-old boy.